This program is brought to you by Stanford on iTunes U at Stanford University. Please visit us at itunes.stanford.edu. I think one of the experiences that a lot of gay men went through, particularly in my generation, I don't know about your generation, but in my generation, if you were a good athlete, you had to be closeted. A lot of guys were always teased as being the sissy, and they were like never really given the opportunity to explore any kind of athletic potential that they had. But I always loved swimming and had wished that I had somehow gotten coaching when I was growing up. And so I decided that on my 36th birthday, which was March 4th, 1982, from that date on, I was going to start training for the Gay Olympics. Statistically, I thought a number of the guys on our team have to be HIV positive and nobody's saying anything to one another. It seemed like to me that people had to come out of the closet again. I myself found out I was HIV positive within a few months after the first uh, gay games. And um, a number of us had, you know, had friends die at that point. And we wanted, uh, I think, something in our lives other than the bar scene that was, um, I think, uplifting to the spirit and I think even to help each other take care of one another. After the Vancouver Games, we started having quite a few people die. And then um, it just seemed like that every six months somebody else was dying from the team. And this went on. And it got to the point for myself that I couldn't take it anymore. And so I stopped swimming. All over the city, people were just folding into themselves um, because nobody knew what to do. I mean, we were Americans. We wanted to be recognized as part of this country that we all loved. And we could not understand why our president refused to acknowledge us. We wanted uh, the swim team to have a presence at the march. And so we asked others from the team to join us. And I mean, not a lot did. And I know it was a difficult time for everyone. Um, and I think they need to really be given credit for having kept the team going. I would say we all felt um, particularly empowered You know, somebody has to say what's going on. Um, you can't just keep hiding from it.